it's Joe here. This is a stretch and rest class focused on hip opening stretches. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our hips when we're stressed. Think of our natural reaction to fear or protection. We curl our bodies inwards to protect our heart and guts. Naturally, the hip flexors shorten and become really tight when we're stressed. This practice is great for those who spend hours in front of the computer sitting, and it's also great for runners and cyclists. So let's get started. Start in a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed. Or if your hips are really tight, you can sit on a block. Check your spinal alignment. Soften the tailbone, the back of your sacrum. Knit your ribs in. Ears are stacked over your shoulders. Shoulders are back and down with the chin parallel to the ground. You should feel an immediate activation of your core muscles wrapping around your mid to lower body and a lift in your pelvic muscles. This is a great postural check whether you're sitting or whether you're standing. Now the tendency is to hold your breath when you're focused on engaging the muscles. Today, I'm going to challenge you to use your breath to get deeper into the stretches and your muscle engagement. James 1 verses 2 to 3 has got to be one of my favorite verses from the Bible. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. It seems kind of crazy to put pure joy and trials in the same sentence. But when you think back to the trying times you've had in the past, you know that you come out stronger from the perseverance. The fact is, the situation is a situation, and you can't always change it. Perseverance is a must to come out the other end. The difference is whether you choose to approach the opportunity with joy or journey it through begrudgingly. Today, we will smile through our stretches and approach it with pure joy, just to remind ourselves of the mindset that James is encouraging us to have. Persevere with joy. We'll begin with some neck stretches. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, dip your chin to your chest and gaze at your navel. Inhale, see the rise of your belly. And exhale, draw your belly button close to your spine. Inhale, bring your head back to center. And now drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Allow the head to drop and the neck to relax. Take one more breath in and out. And inhale your head back to center. Now to the left, drop your left ear to left shoulder again. Allow the neck to relax. Take a breath in and out. And on your next inhale, bring your head back to center. Now slowly lower your head backwards, allowing it to drop and your shoulders are back and down, opening the front side of the neck. Take a deep breath in, expanding your belly area. And exhale with a sigh. Inhale, slowly bring your head back to center. And now we're going to take some shoulder rolls forwards and backwards and reset now let's take some twists with twists it's important to ensure that our hips or sit bones are both rooted firmly into the mat keep the top of the head nice and tall and the chest open this preserves integrity of the spine now take your twist to the left. Place your right hand on the opposite knee. Sweep your left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist, gazing past your left shoulder. Take a couple more deep breaths, breathing into your stomach 
as your corset area expands. And exhale, twist a little deeper. On your next inhale, slowly come back to center. And exhale, reset. Now take your twist to the right. Left hand is on the right knee. Sweep your right hand behind you. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, twist. You might even feel the sides of your body pull away from your midline on your deep inhales. And exhale, twist a little more. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Exhale and reset. So twists are also great for your digestive organs and act as a natural detox for your guts. If you want to do a few more, you can hit the pause um, button on your computer and do a couple more rounds of twists before you continue. Now we're going to fold forward in your seated position. If you're still sitting on your block, you can put that aside and have it within arm's reach. Slowly walk your hands forward, but keep your chest pulling forward to maintain a long flat spine, taking care not to roll your spine in. Neck is relaxed, gaze is down, and breathe. If you're really tight, in the lower back or in your hip area, grab hold of your block. There are three heights that you can use with your block. And place the block in front of you, using it to bring the floor closer to you. Stack your elbows onto the block in the height that suits you and rest your chin into your palms. You can do that without the block as well if you've got nice and flexible hips. You can lower onto your forearms or lower your forehead all the way onto the mat if that feels good. When you feel your edge, you can release the lower back and let the weight of the body sink into the fold. Now take a couple of breaths here, remembering to smile through the perseverance. and see if you can let your knees just relax and drop towards the floor. And slowly walk your hands back and bring your body back up. And let's get into all fours into tabletop. Hips stacked over the knees and shoulders over the wrists. Take a few cat cows to loosen the spine. Inhaling for cow and exhaling for cat. Take a few rounds at your own pace. And when you're ready, slowly move into your first down dog. If you're new to yoga and need some guidance on poses, I suggest you head over to our pose breakdown videos. In your first down dog, you might wanna just sway your hips left and right and walk your dog a bit pedaling out your feet, bending opposite knees before you find some stillness in your down dog. Now lift your left leg up, bend the knee to open up the hip. Send the left knee higher into the sky. Now look between your hands, push your hands into the mat and bring the left knee close to your nose. Now step it forward left foot between your hands, drop your back knee down into a low runner's lunge. Engaging your core, lift your body up and place your hands onto your hips just to check that the hip bones are facing forward and adjusting if the hips aren't level. Now rest your left hand, left arm, forearm on your left thigh and your right arm on top of that. Sink the hips down and pull your ribs back towards the spine to to engage the core. And take some joyful breaths in and persevere. Let the exhales sink your hips lower.
Now bring both hands back onto the mat and heel toe your left foot to the outside of your left hand. You can come onto the blade edge of the left foot and see if you can just let the left knee drop towards the mat. Lizard pose. Relax your shoulders and neck and breathe. If it feels good and you have that range of motion and flexibility, you can come onto your forearms. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. So make sure you smile through it and consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. In this pose, you may feel a very intense stretch in the inside of the left thigh and on the outside of your left buttock muscle, maybe all the way into your lower back. Now press your hands back up, bend the right knee and bring the right heel as close as possible to your bottom. Yep, that's right. Now putting more weight into your right hand, reach your left hand back and grab hold of your right ankle. You can either do this by grabbing the inside, but what I recommend if you can is to have an outer rotation of your left shoulder. So turn your palms to face outwards and see if you can grab hold of the outside of the right ankle and flex your right ankle. Now let the left knee drop towards the side. Press into the right hands, lift your chest, and look to your right, your left uh, around 8 p.m. And then breathe. And of course, smile. And now slowly release your right foot down. Walk your left foot all the way to the right as you prepare for pigeon pose. And today, perhaps your pigeon looks just like this, and that's all right. You may want to grab your block and stack the block underneath your groin, and that's your pigeon pose for today. If you have hips that are very nice and loose, you can remove your block and just let your hips sink into the mat. And here again, just make sure that your hips are level with each other. And if it, this doesn't feel like it's intense enough, you can start to lower onto your forearms or even melt your forehead into the mat. Do whatever suits you with a smile balanced with perseverance. Your stretch right now should be in the left buttock muscle maybe even pulling into the lower back. And we'll just rest here for a bit. Taking deep breaths in and just notice if there are any areas in your body that are still tensing up and see if you can just relax that. And let your shoulders drop away from your ears. And let your neck Relax and let your breath be long. And slowly push yourself back up. Get ready to push back into a plank position. And then a three-legged dog sweeping your left leg into the sky. So now let's just press both hands into the mat. Tuck your right toes. Bend that knee and sweep your left leg up into the sky. Bend the knee again to open up the hips. You might want to circle that left knee. This might feel really good. And then put your left leg down and find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Well, friends, isn't it great that we have the other side to do and to consider it pure joy? So let's do that now. Right leg reaches up for a three-legged dog. Bend the knee to open up the hip. Step your right foot forward the same way you did to the on the other side. Bring your knee close to your nose before you step forward into your low runner's lunge. Engage your core, hands on hips, adjust your hips. And now right forearm on the right thigh. 
and the left forearm on top of it. And breathe and let your exhales sink you deeper into the mat. Now we're going to spend as much time as we did on this side as we did on the left to maintain balance. There's usually a lot more explaining to do on the first side, so often with the other side, it's time to repeat the intention for the day to balance out. Consider a pure joy, my brothers and sisters. When faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. On your next breath in, hands press back onto the mat and walk your right foot to the outside edge of the right hand and come onto the blade edge of the right foot. Lizard pose again. Again, find the arm placement that suits you best. This can either be palms pressing into the mat or coming down onto the forearms if that suits. And just take a moment to, re to notice whether this side feels tighter or less. It's always good to be aware of the imbalances in your body because we all have some. And as with priorities in life, not everything is balanced, is it? Now press your hands back into your mat as you lift your upper body. Yep, it's that crazy one again. Bend the left knee towards your left buttock muscle. Lean your weight into your left hand. Press your chest open. Reach your right arm back to grab hold of the left ankle, inside or outside. Flex the left foot. Let the right knee drop. And now everything is relaxed. Find the balance in persevering and joyfully smiling. And allow the hips to lower and open. And here, just make sure that your chest is not collapsing and you're not sinking into your left shoulder. Just pressing up and turning towards your 4 p.m. here. And now slowly release your left foot. <sighs> Hands back onto the mat. Walk your right foot over to the left for pigeon pose. Again, find the version or edge that challenges you to approach it with joy. Level your hips. Find your placement of your hands for pigeon. Close your eyes and breathe. Can you relax your facial muscles, your neck, your shoulders, and increase the folds between your brows? Can you smile? Now slowly press your hands back into the mat, engage your core, tuck your back toes, sweep your right leg back into your three-legged dog, bend the knee, open up the hip and circle the knee around. Ooh, that feels good. And then come back into your downward facing dog. Resetting. And now you can drop your knees onto the mat and walk your hands into a kneeling position. Now swing your legs in front of you and slowly roll your upper body onto the mat, lying on your back. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to your hip area. Do you feel an opening and a release? Do you feel a sense of surrender after the perseverance? Do you feel a moment of joy after this practice? Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when faced with trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. James 1, verses 2 to 3. 
When your faith is tested, my friends, keep going. Smile and approach it with joy. Take this lesson off the mat. Keep going in faith for the Lord our God, for He has given us a promise that is bigger than your current situation. You can stay in your resting position for as long as you need. Spend some time with God, hearing from Him in silence, or perhaps even saying a prayer. But if you're ready to get on with your day, you can roll over to the left and slowly push yourself back up into the mat in a comfortable seated position with a soft gaze forward. You can reach your arms up, looking up as your palms touch and exhale, bring your hands to your chest. And we'll do that one more time, reaching up, inhale, and exhale, hands to heart. Thank you for practicing with me today.